my first port of call is in the United States. In a secure compound outside of Columbus, Ohio, I drive to my first encounter with a highly educated ape. The Primate Cognition Project at Ohio State University is one of the leading laboratories in the world devoted to the study of chimpanzee behavior. I've been told that one of the apes here is self-aware, understands words and numbers, and can solve difficult problems. Welcome to Ohio State University. Thanks. Doesn't look much like a university. It's like kind of military establishment. It's a bit scary. Can't really believe there's chimps in there. I know it sounds strange, but I'm nervous. This is a bit like a blind date. Will the apes like me? How will we get on? Hello? Anybody there? Oh, hello. Hi. Is, is Sally Boyson here? Yes, yeah, she is. Let me grab her real fast. Thank you very much. There are 11 chimps here in Ohio. Most have been rescued from medical research or neglectful private owners. Sally Boyson is director of the project. <laughs> well, how wonderful to meet you with, with those two of the ones. Who are they? Pardon? Who are they? Who are these two? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this is Emma with a brand new Christmas outfit. Hello, See, Emma? Emma? Oh, 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 well, Emma? maybe not. <laughs> Emma, that's not very nice. We've got visitors. Uh, got, Over 20 years, Look, Dr. Boyson has studied the social behavior of it's groups of chimpanzees, oh, their use of tools, and their numerical competence. That's so interesting, isn't it? Mm. Oh, a little grooming sounds. Very nice, very nice. Does that mean he wants to groom me? That's what he was responding to, yeah, in your braid. Hey, can we groom me? Harper, would you like to put a new shirt on to be a little... No, I'm too busy. You know, Two baby chimps are her latest acquisitions. And everyone gets quite distressed when they see Harper, the little boy, in those frou-frou clothes. So. In the kitchen area, I'm introduced to the principal subjects of Dr. Boyson's research. There are three adult females. She, Hello. Sarah wants your attention, Hello. please. Well, she's looking right at... What on earth do you think she's thinking about me? She's, uh, she's probably um, thinking about your hair color, which is unusual to her. <laughs> yeah. Are you being rude about no. me? She'd also like to smell your finger. <laughs> My love, will it touch your foot? This is so different from seeing animals in a zoo. Okay. The chimps here seem as interested in me as I am in them. Oh, oh she sees your fingernail polish, see? Yeah. Was that interesting you just to put her? it up against the glass for her She's to look at. She's really interested, isn't she? Yeah. But why are all the experimental subjects girls? Is there something wrong with the boys? Hi, guys. We're coming out here. It's OK. Oh, we have a visitor. Let's come along here, Sue. And I want to introduce you to the males. Now, wow. here's the first one to meet. This is Kermit. Uh, Kermit's, Kermit's stressed. That's why upset. he's yeah. agitated. This is Bobby. Hey, Bob. How are you? And here comes Daryl. Hi, Daryl. Oh, what would they, they do? do? I don't like to think about it, but what would they do to me if I went in there? Oh, if you went in there, oh. They'd, they'd turn me to they'd, bits? Well, no, but they'd stomp on you a bit. <laughs> oh, oh stop. Well, I've joined the club. I've got oh, spat no, on. that wasn't very nice. <laughs> he came shooting at me. did it when your back was turned. <laughs> I got spat on. Just a little I'm all wet. Just a been torn from a cozy kitchen with girls admiring nail polish to a cage full of powerful males impressing each other with fearsome displays. This is a different kind of intelligence, social, hierarchical and deadly serious. Finally, the purpose of my trip to Ohio, Sheba, 
the subject of numerous academic papers and one of the cleverest apes Sally has ever worked with. For my safety, she works behind reinforced perspex. Oh my goodness, is this thing so exciting? Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I know you're happy. Sheba is 19 years old. She was born in captivity, raised in a zoo, and moved in with Sally at the age of four. We have devised a series of experiments to explore Sheba's intelligence. The first, does she have self-awareness? Does she have a sense of I, Sheba, a living, thinking animal? I'm longing to see how she reacts to a series of experiments with a mirror. Hey, do you want to do some work? Do you want to do some work? Oh, good. Most animals, when they look in a mirror, behave as though there were just a second creature behind the glass. Well, she looks to me like someone who knows that herself, and she's looking up her nose. Oh, What's in your nose? You're saying if your nose is clean, Sheba. Look, she's picking at her. It's, it's obvious she knows that's herself in there. She's not behaving towards that as though it's another chimp. What? Let's see. Well, come here. We're going to sit here and do something, OK? This is a classic she's test that's right been off. done with many animals, where you put a little spot on them and see whether they try to get it off in the mirror. So there's a spot on her head. The idea is, imagine that I put a spot on your forehead when you weren't paying, you know, like when you were asleep, and you woke up in the morning and you looked in the mirror and you're, ugh, you'd, you know, you'd go, what's that, wouldn't you? Because you know it's you and you know the spot's there. If you thought it was some other person in the, in the, in the, in the mirror, you, you know, they got a spot on. So the question is, here we go, she's putting a spot on. Brilliant, she's playing with her all the time, so Sheba wouldn't have felt her put the spot on at all. Now, what will she do? When she looks in the mirror, will she Come see that spot and, and know it's her? OK, there you go. Who is that? Straight oh, to it. There was a spot. There's her <laughs> sheep. Where did that come from? She knows that's herself. Where in the did mirror. that come from? <laughs> Fantastic. Sheba successfully demonstrates a skill that what? human children only acquire at about the age of 18 what? months. By the time we're adults, we see more than just a reflection in a mirror. We care how we look to others. Does Sheba care? Okay, look at yourself. Can she imagine how other people will see her? Does she have what scientists call a theory of mind? A bit of fun with some lipstick may give us a clue. Look at yourself in the mirror. Sheba, don't bite it. Oh, icky. She's eating it. <laughs> okay, put some lipstick on. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, Quite difficult that. to see what she's doing. She's, she is putting it on. Look. Is she looking in the mirror to see herself put it? Yes. Yes, you clever girl. Is that pretty? Let's see. Let's see. She's putting it on now. She's putting it on her lips Stop. and making them all red. Mm. I wonder what she's thinking. Now, what do you think she's thinking? Do you think, she's, do you think she thinks it's pretty? Yeah. Oh, Sheba, that's lovely. Turn this way so we can see you. Turn this way. Like that, yeah, so they can see your pretty face. Look, I have another kind, too. This is even redder. Sheba takes a break. She has demonstrated some sense of self, but I need to take care. Because chimps look so much like us, it's all too easy to imagine that they must think and feel like us. She's enthusiastic going into her room there. Come Look on. at that. All right. You do enjoy it, Sheba, don't you? Next up, a test of Sheba's understanding of space. We humans use plans and maps to find our way around. A tiny map can represent a whole city. Can Sheba understand a similar relationship? Yeah, and look at this. And here's a little tire. See the little tire here? And here's the climbing structure. I suppose she's showing her the different objects and talking about them. You see this little tiny thing? Sally places a tiny object in a scaled-down model of the room. Can Sheba find the real object in the real room? Where is it, Chief? Quick as a flash! Oh, there it is! Yeah! She has no trouble with that. Good job! That's brilliant. Good job! Would you get a treat? A treat? She must be doing that just like I would. You know, she sees it and it's obvious to her. She just goes and does it. Wow! Excellent job! 
Yeah, that was good. Good job. Well done, Shiva. Very nice work. Are you showing off to us, Shiva? Now we need a couple of minutes while she eats her treat. It looks to me as though it's obvious to her that that, that little model there is the same thing as the big room there, so she can just do it. That shows that she has in her head a three-dimensional picture that she can use to find things. Scale up, change in, change in size, change in orientation, all that changing is going on in her head. Can you sit back a little bit? Sit back a little bit. Sit right here. You'd expect an animal that lives in the forest and zooms up trees all the time to have a very good grasp of three-dimensional relationships. But to be able to relate that to a tiny model, that's clever, that's additional. And I didn't expect to see her being able to do that so easily. And she just did it. It's in this. In this thing. No, this thing. Yeah, see? Watch. Bye-bye. Humans can't do this until the age of three. I wonder, can Sheba do this a second time? Go on, Sheba. Look in the climbing frame. Is she looking? Yes, she's going into the climbing frame. Yeah, she's looking through oh, the window. There it <laughs> she's is. got it. She Come can do that, that task. That's good. not difficult that was for good. her. How does it relate to us? You know, we, we think we're the clever, we're the clever, yeah. cleverest uh, animals on the planet, but here we're seeing them do all sorts of intelligent things. What, what, how do you feel about that relationship between our kind of clever and their kind of clever? Well, I, there's a limit to how far they can go, obviously. Um, but some of the basics that we see in young children, we can see in the chimps as well. Do you think it's like they are very much like human babies up to the point when humans start talking and then they stop or are they are they different do they have different kinds of intelligence well I think that yes they have different kinds of intelligence because obviously they do quite well with tremendous demands on them in the wild to survive which we couldn't do <laughs> uh, <laughs> no I couldn't you know I've never tried that rubbing the sticks together business <laughs> but um, yeah so they have a full repertoire of dealing with a very complex social organization that takes a lot of brain power to do that and keep all the relationships in place similar to the kinds of things we do. An historic distinction between man and beast hey, has been our ability to resist temptation. Okay. Humans don't just live in the present but can hold back for the sake of a future reward. Are you ready for another turn? Okay, which one are you gonna pick? In a new oh, okay. experiment, Sally yeah, shows Sheba that. two bowls of sweets. Sheba points to one of them. Good Instead of getting those sweets, they're put back in the box. So Sheba has to point to the bowl with the fewer sweets in order to get the most. Some over here, which one you pick? These? Okay. Oh, that was good, Sheba. Her success shows a remarkable capacity for self-control. Yeah. Down the corridor, the baby chimps have a new friend, the son of the project manager. Playing with them both, I'm struck by a big difference between the human and the chimp. Max looks straight into my eyes and we imitate each other's facial expressions. Harper, for all his lively play, is always looking somewhere else. Yes, isn't it fun? I am impressed by what I've seen here in Ohio. My search for the cleverest ape in the world is beginning to reveal some of the qualities of the ape mind. Sheba demonstrated all sorts of skills that some people argue are unique to humans. Responding to Sally's commands, she obviously understands some words. Turn the light back on. Sheba, turn it on. Turn it on. But is she capable of true language? I don't know. But I am about to meet an ape who's been learning sign language all of his life. A species dating back 20 million years, 